Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sydney X Games. Look right there, the beautiful harbour in Sydney, one of the most iconic harbours in the world. Picture perfect, and it's been raining for the last 10 days, but we have had three days of non-rain here, and we are loving it. Look at the crowd that we have there over this iconic street course. They are loving it. They've been warming up. They've been piling in here for absolute hours. I'm Corbin Harris alongside Andrew Brophy and our sideline reporter is Mitch Tomlinson. And it is about to get hot in here. Let me tell you that right now. We've got some great skateboarders today, Andrew. Nigel is one of those guys to talk about. He is the most decorated skateboarder in street skateboarding history. What do you think about him? Is he going to bring it today? Nigel brings it every single time he steps on a skate park with, uh, with no questions asked. His ability is second to none, and uh, he will turn it on today for sure. He comes to win, and that's what he's going to come for. Yeah, unbelievable. Let's take a look at him right now. Nigel Houston, he's been on the course since about 10 a.m. this morning. Look at him. That is X Games Minneapolis 2018. Unbelievable tricks. Explain how hard these are, Andrew. Uh, that was a switch frontside feeble grind right there, so it's his uh, unnatural stance. Uh, Niger has the ability to do super technical tricks every single time. The other person that we need to talk about today is Shane O'Neill, the Australian. He is waving that flag. He has been world champion before. He has never won X Games gold. Can he do it today? He can I do think it. he possibly can. This is Men's Skateboard Street, the final. Let's take a look at the start list. Ryan Desenzo, Alec Margeras, Tommy Finn, I showed where Luan, they were the guys who qualified from uh, yesterday and pre-qualifying Yuto, Shane, Kelvin Hoffler, Jagger Eaton and rounding it out, the last skater will be Nigel Houston. What a stacked lineup we have here. This is unbelievable. This is all about the final. It's time to kick things off here. I'm excited. This is it here for X Games Sydney. It is going to get wild. Ryan Desenzo, 32 years old, coming out of Vancouver. It's his 10th X Games. Look at this line. Straight into it. All speed. He's going to kick it off with that Smith grant each time to a back Smith over the fun box. Just missing the nose pick up there on the fence. How many times have you seen him get that in practice? I don't think he missed it very often the whole day, <laughs> no. He had that line figured out. Oh, didn't he ever? You know what? It might be a bit of nerves. He, uh, he, he's got three runs in this, so don't worry about it. He has got plenty of time to show this huge crowd here in Sydney. I don't think he'd be stressing out with that gap to front tail there. That, tell me, like, obviously it's a 45 degree compared to the rest of the park that rail right there. Why is that so hard? It's twice as high as it should be for anyone to skate. So he's coming off that back kick around there from behind and uh, hard to get to. Not exactly the run that he'd want to start things off, but nevertheless, he can bring it together. He can bring it, for sure. That was his Let's check out this. Look at that. And it's coming on the angle, trying to lock in on that. That is so difficult. There's a lot of pop needed in that one. Front tail side to fakey waiting on his score here. It's going to be a 32 flat, not something that is going to get him on podium today. I can tell you that right now. Coming up next, shocking everyone, and uh, he waited till his second and final run yesterday. He was coming from out of the top five, and he got in. Let's quickly check out the skateboard streak format. Ten athletes, three runs each at 45 seconds whether they fall off or not, and it's the best run that counts. It's pretty, pretty simple. Let's get straight into it. He is out of Minneapolis. Alec Margeris. A lot of speed going in here. Is this the nose blind? Yes, holding on to that the whole way. Starting off with a power move right there. Alec is uh, not afraid of a big, big gap or a big rail. And uh, I feel like as long as he stays on, he could definitely be in podium contention. Oh, without question. Oh! Black 270 lip slide to Fagy. That is a, a strong trick to throw into your line in the middle of it. Rolling in. 
Oh, backside nose blind slide across that box. He is bringing the heat with this first run. Perfectly executed kick for the backside lip slide down the bump to rail right there. Yeah. He's feeling good. He's happy with himself. Oh, he's going to have to clean that up a little more. Oh, he no. Got backside flip going the wrong way over that. Why is that so difficult? We like to call that an alley oop backside flip. So he's going over the rail on his blind side way to fakie. Super difficult. You can't see where you're going. Here's where he started off with things with the nose bump. Look how long he slid on that one. Perfect. And then coming back with his kick flip backside lip slide. Too easy for him right there. That's one thing you find about all of these guys. They are so consistent. That was out of time right there. He's going to have to hurry things up a little. Make sure he gets that in to, uh, to get a little bit of score. And 80. Yeah, a little surprised on that one. Thought it might have been a little lower, but uh, hey, look at the athletes that we have to go, especially this guy, Tommy Finn. He was uh, he was holding the fort down in first place for a long time the other day. Unfortunately, starting off with a nolly front side, board side, just coming off. Tommy said there was a little bit of nerves yesterday with his home crowd. It didn't seem that uh, he had any yesterday. Unfortunately, right now, he's uh, not stringing this first run together too well. He still has two more left, though, so... Brophy, you've skated with this guy all around the world. What's he like to skate and be in a tour van with? He's super consistent. He's a, he's a genuine bloke, really nice fella to hang out with and skateboard with. And uh, he is a consistent skateboarder. Trying to hold that backside lip slide. I feel like... He would have lost the buzz. It, 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 yeah, he definitely lost the buzz, right? He would have lost his buzz. That nolly front side board side is a go-to trick for him. He would have been a little bit upset with himself and just uh, off the pulse. Hey, uh, we are going to throw it down. To Actually, I just want to have a chat with you, Mitch Tomlinson. How are you going down there? Well, look, you guys talk about um, Tommy losing the buzz. The buzz is not getting lost by the crowd down here. They are standing on their feet and going crazy. I guess you got to think... We're seeing the best skateboarders in the world, and it's the first time in Sydney. So these guys are just absolutely stoked. And you spoke about Nyjah and those guys warming up from 10 o'clock. Yeah. What did you guys see down here early? Oh, uh, Mitch, I saw Nyjah just try and focus and get in the zone. Another couple of people who were there was uh, Shane O'Neill, Tommy Finn, especially this guy here. Yes. Mitch, you've seen him all around the world in all different types of contests. It's Thrasher Skater of the Year. I shot wear straight into it. Nice front side nose going across the fun box right there. Little backside heel flip on the quarter pipe, taking him down into the bump to yellow bar, I think. What makes him so prominent within skateboarding? He's super fluid. He like, once, once he gets going, he's unstoppable really, you know? It's super easy for him. Oh! Just catching a toe on that kick flip front side lip side right there. But he is one of the most fluid skateboarders in the world. We, we like to call him water. You let him loose in the <laughs> skate park. And... We also said yesterday that uh, none of his team managers like to get him out of the van, correct? Yeah, yeah. Sam Smythe, who was uh, our team manager over at Four Star Coaching, would always be like, don't let, uh, don't let a shot out the vehicle. Like, we won't be able to get him back in. So. He just missed that switch kick flip front side lip side down the big rail. Here it is. Step up Nolly Hill flip. His best finish was X Games Austin 2016 where he had a bronze medal. Can it today be the day where he... Uh, Looks like he's got a bit of a calf issue right here or a shinner. I think he just got a shinner, right? He must have taken hey, a board. What is shin. that like when you get one of those straight to the shin? When you get a really good... Uh, board to the shin it is quite a spectacular feeling i must say it can kind of shut your whole body down right here luan Oliveira, 28 years old and he has got some of the best pop in the game look at that shifty kickflip coming out with a power slide he skates fast powerful lots of ankle flick going on uh, he can attack everything now brophy this was the top qualifier within uh, the guy, all of the guys skating yesterday. Look at that front side flip. Absolutely textbook landing at. Switch tray flip, cheeky little turnaround. Just get him set up for the next obstacle. Now, 
uh, it had, just before you got in during the week, it rained a lot during this practice. He was actually skating over bins up under the grandstands just to keep hyped and skate with all the other Brazilians. Oh my God, that was a flawless run. Look at that run. That is gonna, that's gonna be a big score from the line and he's gonna be super stoked about it. Talk about coming out swinging. He knows he's got five pre-qualified guys coming up. Unbelievable, so lofty with that frontside flip. Wrapping it up with a switch frontside flip down the big five. He has some of the best pop and flick in the game. X Games host there, Jack Mitrani, giving him a high five as he has seen all of these men's street skateboarding contests go on around the world. Whether it's uh, Minneapolis, Oslo, he has seen them all. Now here, X Games Sydney. Yuto Horigome, 19 years old. This is the future of skateboarding right here. Holding it down for Japan. Yeah, he knows exactly what he's doing out on this course. I was watching this morning at practice and uh, he was doing this exact line. How does he make that look time. so easy? Practice makes perfect, Corbin. And he practices a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need to do, huh? That's all you need. No, there's a gift in this one as well. What? Five over the hip. After seeing Luan's line, he knows he's got to come out swinging. It seems like he's got so many tricks within that, and he's still got 10 seconds to go. Here he goes for the big section. What? Oh, Nolly back to 70, lip slide down the big rail. That is a trick you do not see every day. Oh, backside nose bomb, backside revert just to finish things off on the buzzer. That was a heavy hitter of a line. He saw his teammate <laughs> bring the heat and he knew he had to, had to up the ante. The back 540 over the hip right there. Oh, wow. Stylish. Ever so smooth. Not only backside 270, lip slide like it was nothing. That is a, he, that's a serious move. He makes it look so effortless. Yep. I can't wait to see the score come in on this. It's going to bring a big one. That was a great line right there. It's going to be very close. 85.33, we have a new leader. Pushed it right up to the top spot there. And we are just only halfway in the first runs. This is going to be heated. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you Shane O'Neill coming out of Melbourne. 15 X Games appearances. Starting it off with a big spin flip up the Euro gap. Now, Andrew, when you think of Shane O'Neill, what have you? What do you think? I think just technical precision on everything. He like is so good at all tricks as he will demonstrate right now with a switch flip right there. I remember, here's a crooked grind, Nolly flip out. Wow. Holding on to that one. I remember being in the van when he was eight years old on tour with Lewis Marnell as well. Yep. And he was just a technical master then. Yeah. And he, he, he didn't let anything pass him. What? Oh. Trying to wrap it up with a big spin backside lip slide to fake you right there. We were actually talking about that in practice this morning. What did he say about that? He thought the rail was a little bit too low for him to do it comfortably he'd rather not fall onto it rather land on it you know he didn't want to drop down onto that rail i see switch flip front board right here he had no that. problems at all with this one to start things off in his run yeah with a crooked grind nolly flip now i know if i'd landed this trick like that i wouldn't have thought it was that sketchy but shane likes to be perfect you saw, on his, that. saw his front heel just touch the concrete there and bite up on him a little bit Interesting to see what score comes in. It's not going to be what he wants. But the he... technical wizard himself, Shane O'Neill. 84, it still pushes him into second place. He's going to be happy with that, but he can definitely put together a better run without question. Absolutely. Right now, let's have a look at one of street skateboarding's most consistent athletes. It's Kelvin Hoffler. My name is Calvin Hoffler, I'm a professional skateboarder.
Yeah, I grew up in Brazil. Guarujá is a beach city, like two hours from Sao Paulo. I started skating in 2001. Till today, they don't have skate parks. I started skating in my mom's kitchen. My dad built like a little box. This skates too, so we like learn like all the tricks like together. I think I still have the box that my dad built. I grew up uh, like watching X Games, but I never thought like one day I'm like skate X Games one day, you know? It's always like a dream like to skate X Games. The dream come true like last year. When I finished my run, I was super happy, but I couldn't believe I won, you know? It was a, a dream come true for sure. A 92.33 Kelvin knew what he was doing. My plans for X Games 2018 is just skate, just having fun, like, since day one, you know? Yeah, talk about having fun. Kelvin Hoffler has always got a smile from ear to ear. And let me tell you, out of his first three X Games appearances, he has had two gold medals and one bronze. So right now, if you look at the statistics, Andrew Brophy, he's probably going to be on the podium. Looks like he's definitely going to be in the standings for that, yes. I've seen him skate before, and uh, he can definitely blow some minds out there. Here he is with 45 seconds of his best. Huh. Back lip to fakey right out the ranks. Starting off so, so strong here in Sydney. Oh, he's having a good time out there too. He's smiling to himself with a little laugh. Kick flip back lip to fakey. Saw this in practice and the fakey front side flip over the hip. <laughs> Look at him, he's having a great time out there. How important is it for these guys, even if they don't land something perfectly, just to keep going? It just, it, you know, keeps that momentum. As long as you're having a great time with it, it's going to look better and make you feel better. Oh. Keep crooked ground across the fun box right there. Talk, talk about stomping that one. And then, you know, it's always the way. It's the easy trick afterwards, as you were saying yesterday. Yeah, but it's normally the one that, that uh, ties you up in a knot. You do something very difficult, <laughs> and then you're like, ah, you know, I'll just do something simple right here, and you end up... Just missing it. Is that because you've just lost concentration or you were so excited that you just did the harder trick before? I reckon it's a, like, a combination <laughs> of both. Or that you're just so used to doing a simple trick that of course it goes wrong. Here's the replay. Starting off with the cab to backside lip side, taking it to fakey. Perfect roller, eh? And a wicked execution on a kick flip crooked grind with a nice little pop out at the end right there. I love the stomp on that. And unfortunately, this is where he came unstuck. It was up the Euro gap as we await the score from the judges. I think it'll be a strong one. Neil Mims, head of the judging panel. And one of the gnarliest street skateboarders of all time. I know. I mean, that is what skateboarding is about, getting the best of the best in here, and they've done it here at X Games Sydney. 82, still quite a good score in fourth place. Yep. He's knocking on the door there for medal contention. He's got a lot more tricks in his bag as well. Talk about one of the younger athletes came onto the scene so strong. Coming out of Arizona, he's 17 years old. This is Jagger Eaton. Started off with a backside one in your nose, ground across the fun box. With a sweet wow. blunt nolly flip in. Are you kidding? This kid skates all of the series. He can skate everything. He's, he can skate mega ramp. He can skate vert. He skates Vans Whoa. Park Series and every street skateboarding contest in the world. He's really bringing the heat with this first line. No questions. Front side kick flip out of that blunt side right there, taking it to the three-step hubble with a kick flip backside tail side. Can you hear the crowd in the background? They are loving Jaggery. He's uh hasn't fallen off once yet. To the big section. Kick flip backside lip side on the gap rail. Two seconds left. Can he get something in? Wow. He is going to be... Talk about a force to be reckoned with. The crowd are on their feet. They're loving it right now. He is going to wow. be shocked with himself about that one. <laughs> Look at him. Stoked. <laughs> How important is it to be out there and just try and get that first one done? He just locked that bag. one off. Kick flip. Backside nose blunt. In there. Popping it. 
perfectly all the way in. Front side 270, board side on the bump to Blue Rail. He just knew what he was doing out there today. I feel like he knows what he's doing every single time he gets on that skateboard. Yeah, he does, definitely. Kick foot backside, lip side down the big rail to round it out. That's going to bring a score. Look at that. 91.66 directly into the top position, and we haven't even finished the first runs here. Wow. Putting the pressure but, on the uh, boys. Let me tell you right now, this guy on the screen, let's check out a quick profile of one of the most decorated athletes as he talks about his new video part. I'm Nigel Houston, I'm a pro skater. This last year, I was working on my till death part with Nike and Ty Evans. I put everything I had into that part. It was definitely the most involved I've ever been, not just in uh, the tricks and the skating, but the spots I chose to go to, the, the music in the part, the editing, the angles, and uh, it definitely made it more rewarding. All skateboarding in general, but especially street skating, it's actually like addicting. I wanted to go out and like grind a new rail, grind some kink rail, like feel that fear and exciting feeling of being in the streets. The reason it's important to me and that I'm good at having that balance between contests and uh, street skating is because that's the way I was raised. I had my own skate park, my family owned it. Skated there like three hours every single day throughout the week. And then on the weekends, me and my dad went out and street skated. And I think that's something that just always stuck with me. That video part right there was one of the best you've ever seen. Andrew, did that just blow your mind or what? Yeah, Nigel definitely is capable of skating the scariest spots with well, he's not scared of them. <laughs> you know, the, the things we look at as professional skateboarders and go, oh, look at that handrail, that thing's wicked. It's like a triple, double kinker twist, and he will go there and five up. And you're like, well. Oh. He definitely attacks some of the biggest handrails as we await one of the most decorated athletes in skateboarding history. All in white today. Nigel has been in the game forever as well. You know, I've watched him progress as <laughs> a little tiny kid with massive dreadlocks into the beast that he is today. And it's been a, a 13 year. All right, here he is, Nigel Houston, our last athlete. Starting off with a backside Smith grind. Straight into a kick for frontside board side across the thumb box right there. Pumping through that transition. Kick for oh. frontside Smith grind. Wow. You don't see that trick every day out of course. And I watched him in practice try that and oh. Back 180 nose grind back to regular. He is putting a run together here. So many tricks and it's only uh, <laughs> wow. 25 seconds. Backside big spin up the little Euro gap there. It's gonna set him up for the big section. What has he got right now? He's going to bring the heat right here. Oh, are you kidding me? Nolly heel flip, backside, lip side to fakie. Nigel comes to these contests to win. That's his whole plan. And didn't he what look? He is so pumped up that he's got that one done. That is a huge confidence booster. I can't wait to see the score rolling on this one. Here he is with a fisheye angle from Lee Bolton on the course with a kick flip front side, lip side. This is a I mean, wild sorry, kick one. Flip front side, board side. That is a crazy one to see in his comp line. Not only backside heel flip, lip side to fakie right here, rounding out his uh, first run of the day. That was solid, solid as they come. Jagger Eaton giving him a huge hug currently with a 91.66 in the first position. Will Niger knock him off his perch? Yes, he will with a 94.33. Niger comes all the way to the top here at Spotless Stadium.
do not go anywhere. We're coming up with the second run right here at Men's Skateboard Street Final. Welcome back to Spotless Stadium at X Games Sydney. It's Corbin Harris, Andrew Brophy, and I am about to throw it down to Mitch Tomlinson with the current leader, Nigel Houston. Yes, that's right, boys. Nigel Houston, Nolly Hill backlip down the big. Now, the crowd here has come to see the best skateboarding in the world, and you and the fellow competitors are putting on first. Thank you, and how does it feel to be here in Sydney? Oh, of course, of course. We're, uh, we're all stoked to be here. All the, all the fans are awesome. We got a good course. Weather's holding up, so it's good times. The weather's been tricky, but it's come out today for this event, which is, which is amazing. And now, talk to me, you've got a very decorated trophy cabinet. How much would it mean to walk away with a medal here in Sydney? It's always, it's always a good feeling having the first win in a new city. Um, but I mean, I, I approach every contest the same. I'm always, I'm always here to win. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigel Houston, just a taste of what's to come. Back to you guys in the booth. Yeah, thank you very much. And that is the focus that a champion needs. He, he says every single time he uh, uses that focus. These are the current standings right now. Nigel in first place, Jagger Eaton in second, and Yuto in third. On that bubble there, Shane O'Neill, Luan, Kelvin Hoffler. I mean, anyone from four to 10 could get into that uh, podium right there, Andrew. Without question, all they have to do is stay on their stunt stick, mate. That's all they got to do. And uh, well, so. all right, sorry, Andrew. We're going to get this thing started again. It's out of three runs. We're starting the second runs right now. Let's get into it. We have Ryan Desenzo. The Canadian coming out of Vancouver in 2016, he won street gold. It was an unbelievable event. I was there for that one. There's a Smith grind he started off with. Backside Smith. Frontside nose pick right here on the wall. He'll be stoked to got that one. Head over for the nolly heel flip, no side down the three stair, taking it to the hip with the nolly backside heel flip. He's uh, he knows what he's got to do on this line. He's doing it. Quickly reset again, going for that front tail to Fakie and landing it no problem whatsoever. Once again, what should be easy, always tying you up in a knot, just missing the 360 flip on the way up to the quarter pipe. Front 360 off the bank to flat right there. He's going to take himself over the big section right here. What's he got? Oh, yes. Holding onto it for dear life. On that front side flip there, it was so slow to come around. He was just hanging on to it for dear life. Here's that tail slide again, all the way up, getting it on a 45 degree angle. And here it is. Watch his front side flip so slow to come around. He actually lands primo. Yeah, he caught it primo right there. Mid air. Somehow it came all the way around. 
I mean, he's really good at front side flips, so he knows what he's doing. He just would wait it out, and if not, go to the floor with it. <laughs> he was going to go with it no matter what. Alec Margeras, X Games Minneapolis 2017 Skateboard Street Silver Medalist. And they love him in Minneapolis. Hometown hero as he rolls into the quarter pipe. He's coming back the opposite way up the park to everyone else with that front side nose by the start off his line. He's going to look back down to where he came from. The crooked grind dropping into the bank. Just catching his back wheel on that front side blunt sliding. Brophy, do you remember when he first came onto the scene how many heads he turned? Yeah, he came out swinging for sure. Big rail skateboarding, ready to go for it. Just missing again on that front side 270 back clip. Unfortunately, not the run he's looking for. He's <laughs> still going to try and go with it right now. Is he eyeing off the big section here? Yeah. Going for a 360 flip no slide on the gap trail on the big five. Unfortunately, not a great line for Alec right there, but uh, he's got one more left, and he's uh, no stranger to skateboarding, so he'll be. Check out this angle right in your face on the front side nose blunt. Wow, holding on to that all the way. <laughs> not too happy with himself, but it's all right. There's one run left for him. Yeah. His best run was an 80, his first. He knows it's going to have to be a 90. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, excuse me, to uh, make that podium. Tommy Finn, hometown Brisbane. Right there on the screen, you see Street League Pro Open winner in 2016. Started off on the big section, that early front side board side that he missed in his first run. He was looking great in practice this morning. The backside flip right here, taking him back to that three-stair hubba. Oh, unfortunately coming off. This is only Tommy's third X Games appearance. Can you even believe that? I feel like he's been around for so long now. Tommy's been around forever, without question. Good grunt up the three-stair. Yep, living in California at the moment. Looking for a, a new board sponsor. As you can see, he's riding banks out there. Yeah, I mean, there was a, we, we actually spoke to him earlier and kind of got some info, inside information on that. Didn't we, bro? If he said that he was talking to a couple of different brands. Yeah, rounding out with a fake back lip down the rail. I actually don't want to say who they even were because we've got to keep it in suspense. Yeah, we'll keep, that, <laughs> we'll keep, we'll keep those ones harsh. But he is uh, been filming on blank boards. And uh, to all the fans out there, he is going to come out with a brand new part at the start of next year. And he's putting everything into it for that new board company. There he is, rounding out his line. Take back, put down the big rail. Huge crowd here at Spotless Stadium. 42. That leaves him in 10th position. He can make improvements on that with his next one. Yes, he can. As we go into a shot where six foot one, the skateboarding menace. You can't stop him whatsoever. Starting off with a Smith grind. Into a front side nose grind. Taking it to his back. Hanging on to it. He'll think that's funny. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way he normally does tricks. Uh, just missing that Howard grind right there, which is a front side 180 to switch crooked grind. He's doing them all morning. Kick foot front side, lip side. Still a flawless run, though. A shot just like water. Watch him cruise around this park like it's nothing. So effortless, that front side flip over the hip. Nolly heel right there. All right, eight seconds on the clock. What's he got in his second run for the big section? Just coming up short on a switch kick for the front side, lip side. If he can put that run together the way he wants it, he knows he's in, in contention with that question. Still got one more run, so he is all smiles. Always all smiles. I don't think it's going to bother him whatsoever. Not one bit. He knows he can get it down, so that was perfect kick for the front side, lip side right there. Basically, he was trying to do that switch down the handrail. Yep, I wouldn't be able to really explain it that well because I've never done one in my life. 
Um, but that's a scary trick, a switch flip, front side, lip side, down a handrail. It's, uh, a shot currently in ninth position as we head over. Boys just having a quick chat there about what's going on out there. To Luan Oliveira, the Brazilian. About to skate this course ever so fast and just with such style. A little shifty kick to start things off. Looks like he's going for his same run again, uh, Andrew. What's going on with these guys? They just want to try and perfect those runs and then up the end. Whoa, a little more. Switch front side 360 here for Bowie to hit there. Uh, yeah, definitely. Luan, it's a master. He can like hit all, all spaces in his park. Uh, he changed up with that hip hit there. The switch tray for again. He's definitely going to keep his run pretty similar to the last one. Uh, but he uh, he can kind of put whatever he wants in there. Right. He, he is a master. He just wanted to get one down, get a little confident, yeah. and then see what the other scores that came through, correct? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just going to finish it up here in the big section. Oh. Big spin heel flip. Yeah, definitely trying to up the ante and uh, break into that top three. Not sure if that one's going to do it. This front, 270 heel flip. Switch, mind you. So again, not his natural way of standing on the skateboard. Which makes it ten times harder. Yeah. Look at that perfection in the, in the flick of his front foot. Front side flip over the rail. Mm. Having a little fun with the rest of the uh, boys up there on the platform. The crowd behind him. They are packed in here like sardines for the men's street final. Yuto Horigome coming up next. Pre-qualified. Three X Games appearances. Front side nollie switch fever grind back to regular with a back nose bunt to fakey on the quarter pipe, setting him up for the three stair harbor again. He's oh. keeping it, keeping it like his first run right here. I love that switch tray. Half cab blunt back to regular. Whoa, changing it up. Nollie cab back lip. <laughs> He's uh, not made a mistake yet. Looking solid as. Just hanging on to that switch, he'll flip up the Euro gap right there. He can skate if you if you follow him on social media, if you don't do, because you watch him Whoa. and he can skate absolutely everything. He skates street, he skates transition, and he is so good at it. What a run. I wonder if the judges are uh tap back lip right there. Gonna score him a little less just because he left four or five seconds on the clock there without doing something. It is back to 70, nolly lip. Back to regular, oh. but that shot him into the bottom of the three stair. He had nowhere to go, and then he had to run it out. Currently in third place, he gets an 87.33. It betters his score, uh, so he's a little more likely to stay around that position, but I think he's going to have to get up into the 90s. He's going to have to break the 90s to make the first or second hit. That'll keep him in strong contention for third place. Shane O'Neill up next, coming out of Melbourne, dropping in, goofy footer. Starting it off up the Euro gap with a... Oh, no! A big spin flip, just catching a bit of wheel bite, unfortunately for Shane. Uh, he knows what that means to him. He's, what do I do now? At this point, he's like, do I even want to keep going? Because I know, no, see, he's just throwing it away pretty much here. He knows what it means. He's having a little fun with it. Shaking his head, uh, smiling. You're going to have to land every single trick here, aren't you, Andrew? Oh, my God. But if he lands tricks <laughs> like that, could the ground front side nullify about? I mean, he's turning this into a... I feel like he was going to. I feel like he was going to stop, oh, look, and he was uh, like, "You know what? I'm just going to keep going and get a little casual." Yeah. Maybe he should just stay in that mindset. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it, he's taking the pressure off himself and then lands everything. You know, it's a weird mindset, and Shane's not one to shy away from pressure either. He's no, he's not. As we check out the look replay. at this crooked grind. 
Frontside nollie kick for power right there. Look how perfectly he landed that. Yeah. That is an incredible move to do. That's video part tricks. Puts him in the fourth position. Imagine <laughs> if he stays on that the whole time. Oh. One more for him. All right, Kelvin Hoffler. It's his second run here. 25 years old. Mitch, Kelvin Hoffler. What an unbelievable skateboarder. What have you got on him down there? Well, look, there's not much that hasn't been said. This guy is unbelievable. I was just talking to Ishod Weir, and he was saying that he was skating with him all day yesterday, all day today, right here on this very course. Come competition time, he threw down two tricks and went for a third that he has not seen him do in practice. So this kid is definitely bringing it, gentlemen. Hey, and I tell you, Mitch, if a, a shot is saying that and saying how good he is, that must mean something. Yeah, he was blown away, and he's on course now, guys. Thank you, Mitch. Into it with a front blunt there, Brophy. Started off with the counter back lip. Now the kick flip back lip to Fakie on the bumper bar. Fakie front side flip over the hip. This is starting to shape up a little more like Kelvin. Yep, kick flip front lip. He's going to be happy about getting that one. Back tail shove oh. Just putting these tricks in here like they don't even matter. 14 seconds on the clock. Oof. There we go again. He's going to be happy with this one. He's a power <laughs> skater too. <laughs> he, did, he didn't go for the 360 flip up the Euro. He was like, just get me the kick flip. I want to get to the big section. Just get me up there. On the buzzer. What's he got? Oh! oh! Kick flip front side, blunt side to oh, Fakey. Boy. Goodness. The crowd are up and at it. Talk about bringing it here at X Games Sydney. <laughs> yes. He said his heart was going there. He, oh, I'm speechless right now. Bro, Start. take it away on the replay. Starting off with the cab to back lip, fakie down the rail, straight into a kick flip backside lip side to fakie on the bump to bar. And then uh, he hit everything. Look at this, kick flip crook. Across the fun box, popping out. He hit every obstacle in that park. And to and round it out. here is the absolute banger at the end. Kick flip front side, blunt slide to fakey. That is another trick you do not see in big <laughs> handrails ever. And uh, he is loving that right now. A 92.66 will sweep him into the number two position. Yes. Niger still a couple of points ahead there. Wow. Jagger Eaton, 17 years old. He's going to be chasing that second spot right here. Starting it off again with a backside where he knows going on the bump to ledge across the fun box. we will switch blunt flip in right there. Brophy, let me ask you this. Why do you think Niger was three points ahead of Jagger? in uh, run number one because he had an absolutely flawless run. You know, it's always hard to say. Um, Niger skates super powerful and, and so does Jagger without question. So it's a hard one. That's not what Jagger wanted to do right there. You know, Niger knows exactly what he wants out in the course and he kind of ra radiates that when he's out there, you know, like people feel his uh, presence out there. It is a strong presence, isn't yeah. it? How about that? Switch Ooh, back lip. That is not an easy trick. Doing it the opposite way to normal. Switch backside, lip slide, finishing off there. A bump to bar right here with a kick for back lip. I don't know how he does that. Kick flip backside nose blind. Executes it so perfectly every single time. And it doesn't even matter if he's doing it on a three-foot quarter pipe or a nine-foot quarter pipe. Every single time he gets that trick. It must be nice. Second run is a 78.33. His first run with a 91.66 will hold him in medal contention. Right now, he is currently a couple of points ahead wanting to take this thing out at the first X Games in Sydney, it's Niger Houston. Going for a similar run before, what is he going to do to try and up the ante? Niger's got a lot of tricks that he can do on that big rail at the end. 
again with that kick foot frontside Smith Grant. Just so everyone's aware, that trick is ridiculous. So I didn't see him land it once in practice. Oh, neither did I. Back when he knows Grant back to regular right here. How does he do it and stay so consistent? He is consistent. Blunt kick flip in. Just adding a few more tricks in this. Oh! Kick flip up the year yes. gap. He seemed like there was a weight off his shoulders when he landed that one. Here we go again. Oh! Just coming off there. Just locking up. Now, landing. let me explain to you also, while there was uh, practice going down, Right there on the screen where you see his feet are, he actually waxed a, 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 a little bit of the ground because he said it was too sticky. Too grippy, maybe because it was raining when they were pouring the concrete. It might get a bit, a bit rough up there where he's trying to pop off his nose. So he's doing that nolly heel flip backside lip side. Maybe it was grabbing up on his nose when he's trying to like let it come off his feet super quick, you know? I asked, no, uh, I asked Shane O'Neill whether he liked that or not. He did not. Nigel is still on top. Don't get him anywhere. We have got number three to go. X Games returns to Buttermilk Mountain with the world's best action sports festival and live musical performances from The Chainsmokers, Lil Wayne, Lewis the Child, and Kygo. He's going! He does it! X Games Aspen, January 24th through the 27th. Get your tickets now at xgames.com slash tickets. Welcome back to the Skateboard Street Finals here. In third place currently is Jagger Eaton. He has just been destroying it. Look at the tricks that he's been throwing down and we still have not finished. Everyone's got another run to go. In second position currently is Kelvin Hoffler, the Brazilian. Yep, powerful skateboarder right here, getting his lines together really well all morning. And these are just some of the highlights for the first two runs. Two out of three, that back tail shove it there, kick flip. Unbelievable. This is our leader, Nigel Houston. Coming to he do exactly what he ball. said. Yeah, he did. He's doing exactly what he said, and he's a few points ahead of the pack at the moment. Unbelievable. Backside big spin up there, making everything look so easy. Brophy, these tricks aren't easy at all. No, none of them are easy. Not <laughs> one of them are easy. So to get seven or eight of them together, it's incredible. 
Look at the crowd here at Spotless Stadium. We've had 52,000 over the weekend here at Sydney Olympic Park. And this is the end to end all ends. This is the men's street boarding contest that brings everyone here. We've had Moto today, we've had Big Air BMX, and uh, everyone's put on a show. Yep, and now we've got the shootout, the last run for the day from our, from our 10 boys. So let's see what happens right here. Andrew Brophy sitting right next to me. I'm Corbin Harris with Mitch Tomlinson down in the field. This is it right now. It comes down to the third and final run. It's Ryan Desenzo. Again, starting it off from the top with the Smith Grime followed by Back Smith. Front side nose pick up on the fence out of the quarter pipe. I think Ryan really just wants to get this line done. <laughs> I know. Did you see him just laugh that off? He was like, thank goodness I just landed that. Nolly heel flip, no slide. Just hang on to it by the toes. Whatever it takes. Front side tail side to fake you again. Coming back around to normal. Is he going to? Yeah. Oh! oh! And he's just, just hung on to it again. Why did he even bother with that one? What if his feet weren't in the right position? Oh, it, you know what I mean? It's like, you know it's going to happen. And you're just going to do it anyway. Uh, followed by a frontside 360 flat on the bump to flat there. Round in and out with a Nolly Hill foot board slide down the five stair handrail. Right, I wasn't sure if that was a Nolly Hill foot crew grind attempt or board slide. I was seeing him doing the Nolly Hill foot board slides earlier in the day. Yeah. That's why you are the analyst. <laughs> uh, I could be wrong too, but. No, I reckon you're right. Here's the front side nose pick. Oh, I love that one, Brophy. Yeah, I think he does it because he's having fun with it, for sure, you know. Having a chat to the His McClung. third score will be a throwaway. His best is a 70.66. Not the day he wanted here, Ryan, but he's always happy to be back in Australia. Currently in seventh position with a score of 80, Minneapolis's Alec Margeris. Right back into the front side nose, blind slide, nearly letting it out, holding on to it so perfectly sitting on that nose block. Coming back over with the backside, tailside, big spin, just shuffling his feet around. That's a change up from his last two runs. He's looking to improve on his score right now. It looked like he was going for almost a kick foot backside nose button on that rail then. Alec also in February this year broke his foot and he's already back skating at this level. Yep. You've had your fair share of injuries over the years, Andrew. How do you come back from something like a knee or a foot? Uh, just a good rehab process, you know, taking your time with the initial injury, making sure that it's healed before you jump into that rehab program and then e eating well, treating yourself well, you know. That's uh, the most important thing you can do coming back from an injury. Here is a replay of that nose blind. That angle again. Look at him just sitting on that the whole time. Nearly got away from him <laughs> right there. There's a lot of wax on there. I think the camera actually nearly got a little knock from his tail on that one. There's That's Carlos Rivera in the background. He's going to be it for him today here as we roll into Tommy Finn. And now we haven't seen Tommy land a full run here. If he can land a full run here, He's currently in 10th. Can he break into that top three? If he can put the Tommy Finn run together, he can definitely, he can get up to that, that top three. As long as he picks all the right tricks, but like he is now, starting off with an only front side, board side, uh, he can do it. Nice backside flip on the quarter pipe right there. He kind of caught it with his back foot on that one and then came around. Oh, it has got the best of him all day. I saw him doing it in practice. He was doing backside flip nose grinds, backside flip nose grind reverts. Um, it's funny because someone like Tommy was getting it in practice and then Nigel Houston not landing tricks in practice and then just landing them. How does he, how does someone like that just get better when the pressure's on. You know, someone like Niger definitely feeds on that environment. Like, he loves it, you know, like, that's his zone. He likes that pressure. So he's going to save himself in practice, and he knows he can come out swinging and just land it. 
Tommy rounded it out with a fake nose ground on the big rail. He's still stoked to be out there. He might be a little bit disappointed that he didn't get it all together, but I think he's still there. He's our countryman right there, Shane O'Neill. Giving him a little fist pump in the mix. Same with Nyjah. Nyjah and uh, Tommy actually skate together all the time. Yeah, they're great mates. They hang out a lot. Nigel currently in that number one position, just still warming up there. Look, having a little bit of fun with Tommy. Having a giggle on the way up, why not? I wonder what he's going to put in the mix, but hey, everyone, wait. Hold it. One of my favourite skateboarders, a shop wear a with a Smith grind. Back to the front side nose grind across the round bar on that fun box at the top with his backside heel flip on the quarter pipe. And he's way down to the bump to rail right here. A front side 180 switch crook, as we like to call him, a Howard grind. Rick Howard invented that. We actually got a uh, quote off uh, a shot on his loose competition style and casual, casual approach. I try not to take these things or myself too seriously. When I do, I'm terrible. <laughs> yep. Uh, he's a great bloke, Rashad. He's a pleasure to be on tour with. A uh, pleasure to watch skateboard. Here he is, right here. With us. Oh! A trick so, like that, if he'd made it, it would have pushed him up to the top. You think he would have gone? I you mean, think he would have been up there with Nigel. Yeah, maybe not number one, but the a switch flip front lip down the rail is like such a technical trick. Yeah, look, here's his regular kick flip front side lip side. So his natural stance, out of the bump, onto the rail. And he's doing that down the big rail in his unnatural stance. Went to dinner with a shot the other night and he said that he's currently, he's always been scared of scary movies. Has he? <laughs> yeah, and he said that now he's been into watching Chucky and Freddy Krueger. Oh my. And he's not scared of them anymore, so. Uh, Proud moment for him, he's, that. he's definitely, <laughs> definitely not scared to skate hard either as we get into the Brazilian here, Luan Oliveira. Currently in sixth position. That shifty flip again with a speed check. Frontside disaster. Frontside, oh, stepping off his frontside flip. He'll be upset with that. He always brings the heat. He skates fast and powerful. At this point, Andrew, you're going to have to stay on every single trick here. And every trick has to, uh, has to count. Yeah, and he knows that. So he knows what's just happened. Uh, he's not going to win it. So he's just going to do some... Uh, some of his special tricks out here for the crowd and enjoy his last run. He's never quite got that uh, gold medal here. Out of five X Games straight on skateboard streets, he has uh, got two silver, three bonds, out of 13 appearances. Just going to wrap it up. We had that switch big spin heel flip down the five star. Not his day to day, but still loving being out here. He is just. A core skate rat at heart. He oh, just totally. loves being out here on the board. And um, we this crossed our flip. we crossed our fingers all week, and uh, it's come together here. We've had three days of no rain. We had a little bit last night come down, but it didn't hurt us too much. Luan with a 54 on that one. He will stay in sixth place, and. Uh, take that 83 currently in the number one position it is that guy right there don't go anywhere
Welcome back to X Games Sydney. It's Corbin Harris here with Andrew Brophy and our sideline reporter Mitch Tomlinson. It is down to the wire here at the Men's Skateboard Street Final. These are the current standings. We have five skateboarders left to go. Niger is in number one. Kelvin is in number two. And Jagger Eaton, the youngster, is in number three position. Right now, we have the same top five who are in the top five uh, as X Games Minneapolis in 2018. So a couple of different changes in positions I see there, but uh, the same top five, which is interesting. Yuto Horigome, 19 years old, out of Tokyo, Japan, dropping in now. What's he going to have to do to uh, break into that top three, Brophy? I mean, Yuto's got a deep bag of tricks, super confident, likes to land everything, as you just see, switch trade for down three. If he can just, you know, keep it together, finish strong, I think he's got a, a strong chance of getting that top three, without question. He has to stay on. This is when you've got to bring out the money moves right now. Similar run so far. Last hold onto that back five. Maybe. He's got still 16 seconds on the clock. Switch here off the cup the Euro. Very casual like. Isn't it? <laughs> I feel like he needs to up the ante a bit, but maybe yeah. he's just trying to keep it cool. What? Oh, switch tray flip lip slide down the big rail. If he had landed that. Yeah, that would have been a little upset there, definitely. Oh, wow. It feels like these guys right now know the drill. It's all or nothing. Yeah, they all know the drill. They know exactly what they've got to do to try and get themselves into that top three spot. Here is the fall. He almost lands it. Switched 360 flip to lip slide, landing in, switch again. He seemed like he just couldn't get his body right around at yeah, the end there. Yeah, that board didn't come around into a straight position for him, so he would have locked up a little bit, caught some wheel bite and just pitched him off. Unfortunately, I don't think that one's going to push him up into that top three spot. There's our current leader, Niger, next to Shane O'Neill. Do not put anything past this guy right now. If he lands a run, he still can take this whole thing out. Definitely. Shane. Can. Oh, Switch, flip, back, lift down the big row. Shane is not playing with this he, last line. <laughs> yes. Come on, Shane O'Neill. Hometown crowd. Can he do it? Yeah, no. Oh. I couldn't even watch that. Something that he can do. So effortless all the time. He still knows that his bag of tricks are way more technical than most of these guys, so maybe he can up the ante. What? Yes. Yo. Even falling off, he might get into the top three here. Finishing up with a wow. switch big spin flip to front side board slide. That is the hardest trick of the day so far. The hardest trick of the day. On the biggest obstacle. Switch kick flip, backside lip side down the big five right here. Perfect. Another extremely hard. Here it trip. is, here it is. Talk it through us. Switch big spin flip right here to front board, back to his regular stance. Shane knew he had to do something phenomenal for his last trick. This is something you do not see from just anyone. There's only a handful of dudes in the world that will be able to ever do it. This is a video part trick, and he put Look it here. Look at the boys. <laughs> a shot can't believe it. They love it. Niger, Jagger, Ashad. Yes. Everyone cannot believe their eyes that he pulled it together. As we await the score, what is it going to be for Shane O'Neill? Even though he fell off, it's a 92, which pushes yes. him into the medal position. Oh, Shane is going to be so stoked about hitting number three on that. Oh, wow. I would have... Oh, if I was Niger or Kelvin Hoffler, I would have been worried if he landed that whole run. Oh, definitely. It's going to sound, you know, to win a competition, you, you don't want people to not make their tricks, but it definitely releases some tension when they don't, you know. So when he missed that crooked grind, nollie flip on the yellow bar, people would have thought, oh, thankfully. But then he, uh, he just turned it up right there at the end with that switch big spin flip front board down the rail. Kelvin Hoffler. We have three skateboarders left. 
Kelvin Hoffler, Jagger Eaton, and currently the winner, Nigel Houston. Sit back and watch, grab some popcorn. It is about to get going right now. Cat back tail. Oh, he was trying to pull out all of the moves right now. He is starting off with a really heavy trick there. A cat back tail to fake you down the big hand rail. Looks like he might have uh, hit his leg a little bit. Yeah, a little limp out of that one. Still not going to stop him trying to get a few tricks in here. No, you can bring it back if you miss a trick. You just have to really up the tricks. Yeah, yep. A little bit lost here after he uh, dropped off on that first trick. No. Nolly frontside no slide on that one. Keep the backside tail. Big spin out on that one. Hey, hats off. You have to give it to Kelvin Hoffler. Currently in number two. Jagger is the only guy who can knock anyone off the podium right now. And, uh, uh, sorry, knock Shane off the podium right now. And he still can beat Nigel. It is down to this guy right here. That's a little bit of pressure to feel. Do you, fit, do you think? <laughs> Just a tiny bit at 17 years of age. I don't think it matters. He's been born into contests like this. It is down to this right now. There's Niger, all focus. I wonder what he's playing right there. What do you think he's playing? Rap music. <laughs> Some sort of rap. All right, 45 seconds on the clock. Jagger Eaton is dropping in. Can he knock Shane out of the top three? Back when he knows, Grind. Ah, oh, he's missed his switch blunt nolly flip. And uh, he knows how he deadly knows. that is. Jagger has had two silver medals in his two first. Niger, this is just going to be a lap of honor for him. As Jagger has a little bit of fun with it here. What a contest, Andrew Brophy. Yep, that was a beast contest from all the boys. Everyone put their all into that one. And we saw some incredible skateboarding, especially from the likes of Shane O'Neill. That switch big spin flip front board down the rail. And uh, Jagger just going to enjoy this little ride. With no one out there on the course. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is it. He has already won. That's why he's got a huge smile on his face. This is Nigel's 10th gold medal. He ties with Tony Hawk and Bucky Lasek for the second most gold medals from skateboarders in X Games history after, after uh, sorry, behind Bob Burnquist with 14 medals. I'm that pumped up here, I can't even talk properly. I mean, I'm sure Nigel's that pumped up. Look at him, he's stoked right now. He knows he's done. Kick flipping in right here. He's just going to have a, an honor lap right here, but he's actually turning it on still. Let me tell you, he has medaled in his last 14 Yo, skateboarding kick flip nose grind. here. Unbelievable. Just doing it for the crowd here at X Games Sydney. He, he's still just doing a real line. <laughs> uh, he just kicked the front side nose grinding down that bump rail. Blunt kick flip. He's just, he just wants to show everyone he can put it on whenever he wants. He just wants to show everyone that he is the best. <laughs> and this is why he's the best. Uh, and why not? I would too if I was that good at skateboarding. Unbelievable. Niger doing it Whoa! again. Can he better? He's 94.33. He didn't even need to. The crowd right behind him here. Starting to get right behind him. He's doing it all in white today. Unbelievable. I think he's going to up his first place number right here. Do you think so? I think so. That kick foot note. There you go. He proved that he can do it even if he doesn't need to. Nigel Houston takes the gold medal here at X Games Sydney. Yeah. Kelvin Hoffler, the Brazilian with the silver medal well, yeah. and the Australian scrapes in yes, Shane O'Neill. Well, yeah. What an unbelievable effort. Unbelievable there. There he is, Mitch Tomlinson. Unbelievable effort by Nigel Houston.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not only has Niger won the first street skate X Games gold medal, but this is your 10th gold medal. You tie with Tony Hawks and the likes of Bob Burnquest. How does it feel? I think it's nine. Nine? We're it's saying nine. 10? Yeah. If it was 10, I think I'd know. Okay, well, it's nine. Either way, it's pretty damn good. It'll be 10 soon. It's all good. <laughs> 10 soon. Okay, let's talk about this. You were in first place from your first run. We still had the likes of Shane O'Neill and the rest of these guys to, to run. Do you get a little nervous? Is there a little anticipation? Oh, of course. I mean, all the, all the guys in the finals have such a good chance of winning. And uh, every, it's such a weird feeling, like, just waiting and seeing who's going to fall or land their stuff. But I just throw in some music and try to stay calm and, yeah. And what about the energy of the fans and the crowd here in Sydney? This is our first X Games, mind you. Yeah, I mean, it seems like an amazing turnout. I mean, Sydney has some awesome fans. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the first time here, it's amazing. I'm stoked. Okay, your ninth X Games gold medal. Congratulations, Niger Houston. Thank you. What an unbelievable yeah. effort. Yeah, round, Nine X Games medal, and he also got one in real street too, Andrew. Please just give us your thoughts, your final thoughts on, on that final there and how intense it was. It, it goes to show that uh, someone like Niger does come to win every time. You know when he's out here, he's going to put on for the fans, for himself. And uh, to see the likes of that, three lines, everyone was perfect. Unbelievable. All right, we have had an unbelievable three days here at X Games Sydney at Spotless Stadium. From all of us here at X Games, I'm Corbin Harris, Andrew Brophy and Mitch Tomlinson with the Street Skateboarding Final. Thank you very much for watching and we can't wait to see you guys next year.